So we got a little surprise for you guys. We made a quick uh, pit stop at the Thousand Islands Bait Shop. It's one of the local shops in the area. Probably got the best selection of fish and tackle. So we're gonna do something just a little bit different. We're gonna do a little challenge for you guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go in here. Each of us get thirty dollars to go and spend on fish and tackle. Rod, reel, line, baits, everything that you need to do to catch a thousand islands in Lake Ontario smallmouth for thirty dollars. Can it be done? Absolutely. We're gonna go and. See what we can find in uh, Thousand Islands Bait Shop. Come on, let's go. So what are you thinking? I think we only need to kind of, we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go for all or nothing. So I think we're gonna go with, I mean, we can go with the kit. So you get $30. $30. So that's, those are above budget. No, right? that's above budget. And you gotta buy baits. Yes, exactly. That's why we're gonna go with the ugly stick, a small ugly stick. I think this will be the best bet. Rod reel line combo, everything. And if anybody that knows anything about fishing knows that an ugly, ugly stick, stick unbreakable. unbreakable. Not even on a six pound small one. Okay. I, I think I'm gonna go with a smaller bet. Dude, what about that one? That one's $12.99. That one's $12.99. I'm going with this one. I'm going to spend more money on baits. I mean, this is just Ned stuff. I'm just going for it. You're going to go with the white one? I didn't have to go with the white one. Yeah? That's what I caught most fish on the color today, so if it ain't broke, why fix it, Nick? Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm getting. I caught it. I caught that fish. Yeah. Long time ago. I'm going to grab another pack of baits, just in case that color doesn't work. I'm going to have two options. You so too. I'm going with two, because you can never go wrong. So I'll give this, like one of my friends that I fish with, his name is Tom. Tom and I went to college together. Tom loves throwing a white gets it. His father loves throwing a white gets it. Tom, this one's for you. I got you a white gets it too, because you can't go through these guys. Let's go see if they got the jig heads for the gets it, because they're probably going to be, so what is that, 519? Right, gets heads. Gets heads. Four sixty nine. What's the heaviest one they got? I want the heaviest one. Half ounce? No, we're gonna go with quarter ounce. Ten pack. So ready to go catch some small ones. So what do you got? No, I think I rolled an ugly stick, some Z-Man, uh, tail grubs, some jig heads. Keep it nice and simple. I got two packs of the worms. You almost kill math. It's just not easy. Silly tails, different colors, and then I got a good net head. I got white kits of tubes. The matching gets it jig heads because you can't go wrong with anything gets it and little Shakespeare 36 inch rod. I just I want something with a little bit of length, something with a little bit of drag. This way I can actually fight the fish most of the day. So you went for a real fish. I went for a real setup because if we're going to Lake Ontario tomorrow, I'm dealing with a six pounder. But well, one of us is going to deal with a six pounder. That's very true. All right. So that guy in there, nicest guy in the world. Definitely gave us the weirdest look, but he just doesn't understand. He's just not committed. Like He's got that. no idea what is about to go down tomorrow on this little garage. So there it is. Before tax, $88. That's roughly $30 a piece. Oh, kitchen piece. $30 challenge. Let's do it. Day number Ooh. at the sink one. Oh, yeah. So, my may, may or may not have uh, overslept a little bit this morning. We set our lunch at 4 o'clock. We all did the whole rollover thing. I mean, why not? We're on vacation. So, we got about a 40 minute drive this morning. We're going to go launch on the Eastern Basin Lake Ontario. A little bit windier than I would have liked, but uh, we're still going to go out there. If we have to, we'll go back into the river. It's all relatively kind of close to one another. So, we'll see how it goes this morning. I mean, I'm, if we got the conditions and everything's right, I'm making a run that hopefully will uh, definitely pay off. <laughs> I mean, look. You, you can't tell on the camera. You, no, there's two to threes with the occasional four. I've done it before. I've put my boat in this, but they did not say it was going to, you know, they didn't say anything about anything diminished. Right. We're going away from here. Yeah. <laughs> Sandwich. Chili! It's chili. 
like, no. Nope. Wow. We're not I literally just saved the day. We are not having a good no, morning. No, at all. No. Go to the lake, blowing, come to the river, blowing, got the flogger in the truck. It's 7.40, we need to make a cash hit. By this time, we had 18 pounds in the boat yesterday. <laughs> hey, you're, we're not, It's you can't win every day. No, you can't win every day. Yo. I'm gonna wait for Nick to come back with the flogger. Kind of forgot that. Yeah, we'll get some rods ready though while he's doing that. Alright, gotta get our, our rods out for the day. Yep. yep. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, time to start looking. Nick's in the front of the boat looking for some beds and then I think we're gonna get some fish in the boat and then we're gonna start the challenge. We're gonna find some. We're gonna catch some. Nick has finally found one. That's it. No, that is a grand one. Is it what? That's a big one. Like a really big, really, really big one. Nah, yeah, she just spun around. Alright, let's bring it back up. Dude, I got it. What do you mean? I got it. Dude, I got her. Dude, That's I good. I got it. That bay is hard to see. Down there, nice. That's a good one. Dark one. Sweet. Let's let her go. Let's let her go. Big bronze beast. Bye, girl. All right. Find the second one. All right, right? Jaw. Look at if she her she, her bottom jaw is so deformed, but look at how just meaty and how thick that fish is. It's a good one. Just look, that fish is no bigger than 19 inches and is probably close to five pounds. Let's see. 465. 465. Yep, 465. 465. Awesome. Snap a couple pecs and ready to roll. Alrighty, Nick caught a good one. I caught a good one. Cody's up. I'm ready. That might be my new PB. That's definitely your PB. That's a five pounder, dude. Yeah, that looks dude, like a five that's pounder. That's a donkey. These deeper oh fish seem God. to be not as pressured. No one's been out here catching them. We've had bad wind the past few days. I mean, tried to go to the lake this morning, couldn't do it. But I came back to the river and found Adam. donkeys. Nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I saw him. Did you know? Wow. Look at that fish. That's big. Are you kidding me? Wait. 502. 502. 502? It's 502. New PB on that. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Alrighty. As you guys probably saw, we want to just get a couple fish in the boat. So Cody, Nick and I put three fish in the boat real quick. This is gonna be basically the breakdown of the challenge. We're gonna do first to three fish on a bed. One person's gonna be fishing, one person's gonna be filming, and one person's gonna be flogging. Each person gets five casts at the fish on the bed. After five casts, next person in line goes. 
you hook up into the fish and you lose it, automatically goes to the next person in line. And then simple as first person, three fish wins. The two losers, I mean, Nick, what do you, uh, what do you think this water temp is? is? 58 and a half. So two of the three of us uh, were all on board for this. One person was a little less. Uh, no, I don't want to jump in this water. <laughs> so cold, basically man. what we're going to do is the two losers are going to the lake. That's what we're going to roll with. Uh, we are going to spin uh, on a roulette spin wheel to see who goes first. And then uh, we're, we're going to we're gonna it. kick it off. Yep. I, hope, I hope you brought your swim trunks. Oh boy! Wow! On my own, on my own boat, even. Confidence. So we'll give it a spin. Give it a spin. Let's, Let's see. see who rolls first. Looks like Cody's Cody. Up. I'm up first. Cody's wow, up, first. up first. Okay. All right. Who's second? And then we'll keep this order throughout the day. Yep. What the hell? Why did I get to go last? <laughs> then you got to go last. Okay. I'm last. God dang it! I'm first. And then I'm second. Second, and then third, and we're gonna just keep that order until the challenge is over. We got the first fish on a bed right here. Here's my setup. I got a 30-inch pitching stick from Shakespeare, and then I grab a green and orange twirly tail grub with a net head. So he's got this fish down here. I'm gonna try this out first. And with my strategy yesterday at the bait shop. If this color doesn't work, I have another color grub that I was able to get because I got the cheaper rod. So, try this one first and then we'll try for the other one. Okay. So way off of that. so that's five my five casts. Cast. Goes to Nick and he gets five casts, then Jordan and back to me if nobody catches it by then. So, for my part of the challenge, I went with a 36 inch ugly stick, rod reel line combo, that was $20. And then I bought a old school pack of Gets It white tubes with the special Gets It insert heads. Rod came, rod reel line, six pound test. Drag is good, nice rod. We're gonna go try and see if we can't catch the smallmouth on this bed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Got him. boy. That's a fish. Gotta get him in the boat though. Here, I'll get him there for you. Yep. Not a bad one. And there's Ooh, number one. A little chicken. Number one for the challenge there on your last cast. Uh oh, Cody. Uh oh. We might go swimming. <laughs> Not a big one at all, but. That's a nice one for like anywhere. And there's the theory that some of these deeper beds are not all big fish but we've just been lucky enough the furthest spot that we're on right now we've found a lot of bigger fish but look he had that tube way down his gullet see the tube tickles them a little bit and when you tickle them they don't like it and they eat it <laughs> let's get her back in the water all right Bye. that's one let's go find okay. another one there we go Woo! got the first one all right jordan's turn all right i'm up so i got the same rod and reel that nick got but I went with a little bit of a different style. Uh, I wanted to keep rolling with the net rig, but I got like this twin tail grubs. My fear is that it'll be very easy for the fish to pick it up by its tail and just move it off the bed, which is typically what they do. Uh, but if it's aggressive enough, it should eat the whole thing. So if it does end up just picking it up off the bed, I'm just gonna snip this off, shorten it up a little bit, and then uh, make sure that that goes in the roof of his mouth and he goes in the boat. Well, I feel bait in my bed. Got him! <laughs> oh, God. All right, let me know when ready. Cody. Next. Next. Oh, it was my turn. No, it was, my yeah. Turn. Let me get this thing down there. That's it. That's it. You don't like mine. Where am I going? Got it. There he is. Come on! Lose it! Okay. Yep. Oh, it is you got your nut. You got your nut. Woo! Woo! Cody. 
to Ooh, be in trouble. popped right out. That is a big one That's on the kid one. rod. That's 30. a good one. It's probably another three and three, three and change, change, probably. Yeah. It's now or never, Cody. It's it's now you or never. We have to catch him. We have. It's you and I versus him. Yeah. Because that means we both have to jump in the water. So now we have Correct. to beat him. Correct. And I don't want to do that. It's game time. Ooh. Okay. He had it in his mouth, but he dropped it. Okay. But not like fully. Okay. I didn't say set the hook. Reel it in. This, this fish will eat. Cast more that away. That's five. All right. You gotta play by the rules. I'm up. Cody's up. Leg him around. Sounds like he's charged up, Cody. Okay. Oop, leave it. Leave it. He's got it. Set up. Oh. oh! Did you lose it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cody. That was it. You had it, Cody. That was our chance. That was it. I, I had it on, so I lost it. And that means... It means... You have five throws. That's it. You have five throws. And if he gets it, we're jumping in the lake and his challenge is over before it even started. So cold. Nick. Are we ready to go? This is it. This is it. This this could be the winning fish. Casting it out. Yep, yep, yep. Nope. One. Didn't have it. Yeah, I'm up. Going back down a second. You're like it. Oh, yep, yep, yep. No? Two. Every time I touch it. Really? Yeah, I lost okay, it. Okay, three. Oh, oh, he got it. Oh! Dude, what was that? You didn't catch him, so I almost we're still did. safe. He almost did three times. Live to fight another day. Jordan's turn. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Hard, hard, hard. Yes! Never felt so good to catch a one pound small mouth. <sighs> Man, it's probably like two. Nah, yeah. pound and a half. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's find another one. He ain't about it. That little black and orange grub is so hard to see. The white tube, hopefully it uh, prevails. Hopefully. Okay, going down. Am I on the fence? Way right. Way right? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come to it, come to it, come to it. Oh, you got it. Oh, no. Cody. Could be going in the water. Here he comes. Don't, don't jab at him. Don't jab at him. There you go. That's it. Yeah, we're going to water. That's great. Me and you're going swimming. But it's a good one. Yeah, that is a good one. Yep. Look I think that that's fish. the biggest fish on the channel. Well, no. Did I catch that four pounder on the channel? I don't know. That's, oh, wait. That's a four. That's the biggest one we've caught on doing, doing this challenge. challenge 100%. Yes. The white gets it too. I give that credit to my buddy Tom. Tom, thanks, Tom. So the tube was the best choice. That rod, 100% was the best choice. The little white gets it tube. Gets it tubes have been around forever. Oh yeah. You two guys jump in the water now. <laughs> the look of disgust. I don't want to do it. <laughs> oh yeah. Guess what? Four sixteen. Let's see if it actually reads with the thing. Come on, these waves are killing. 416, there it is. 416. On a $30 challenge with a 36 inch rod. Come on, get you some. Going back. 
goes we're gonna go we're gonna move and we're gonna go try and get back on the scheduled program that we've been trying to do and uh, we're gonna put the kitty rods away we're gonna put the $30 challenge rods away and uh we're gonna get back and get on to bedfish i'd like to try a couple of deeper spots too see if we can't get them dragging the tube throwing spy bait dragging drop shot i got a few little spots that uh might hold some fish we got work to do my goal for today was to catch a 25 bag and we were supposed to do that in the lake, but that didn't happen. Weather's getting better. We got the rest of the day. I'm not stopping until we catch 25. Pounds. Yesterday we had a lot of high fours. This today, today we have a lot of low, low fours. fours. Yeah. So I'm just gonna troll around a little bit more and see if we can't flog up a couple more just beds up on this shoal. The thing is that I've noticed in the past two days and that I'm gonna try and focus and re replicate on is these beds. At least the bigger fish, they're tight together in groups, but they're also on the front side of the shoal. When you're sitting in a river, of course, what's going to be the spot with the least amount of current? The front side of the rock the back, and the back side of the rock. Up on top or on the side, the current's too swift. These beds, at least the bigger fish, are all the way on the bottom in front of these rocks, in front of these boulders on the front sides of these shoals. So that's what, um, that's what I think we're going to try and replicate on. We're going to just narrow it down. We figured out a pattern, figured out what they want to eat, and now it's time to go actually wreck them. <laughs> Going to get the vlogger. <laughs> Chasing it down with the trauma motor. Right, are you ready, Freddy? I am ready. Oh, yeah. You tell me when. He's on it? Got him. Got him. There he is. There's my five pounder. I'll take that fish any day of the week. Five oh four, five oh four, beautiful fish. What an awesome day! Can't can't say anything better about it. So we're gonna get this fish back. And like we've said about a hundred times on this trip, we'll go find another one. She's gonna kick right off, right on the boat. Awesome. Okay. Unfortunately. The, the kitty $30 challenge did not pan out well for Cody or I. Uh, the rules were two losers have to get into the water and it's not warm. It's under and 60 degrees. I don't it's 62 do here. It, but I got on the back side. We're, we're men of our word and you know. Right here. What, what, would, that, what would that be if, if we didn't do that? So yeah, I'm gonna strip down my undies and I'm gonna get in the water and I'm gonna get right back in the boat and we're gonna get home because we're hungry. There's food at the hotel. Yeah man, goose hot dogs. And right, my goose hot dogs. Yeah. My last so, two packs before I get my new ones. Time. I wanna get you out of this curly leaf. Yeah, that's and then you gotta film this. Yeah, okay. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! You <laughs> idiot! <laughs> <laughs> God, that is freaking cold. Oh, I'm not swimming there. <laughs> Jordan's going, going for it. Well, we got rained out this morning pretty bad. Um, and we looked at the forecast and we're like, ah, I think we'll be okay with the th thunderstorms. No, we got soaked. Cody got soaked. I mean, I'm soaked. We all got rain. soaked. We're so. soaked under even rain gear. So I think we're going to wrap it up, call it a trip. I got a, almost a six hour ride home. You guys got well, almost we got about a three. three and a half, so it wasn't bad. That was that was an awesome trip. We had probably some of the, some of the best fishing I've seen up here in a while. You know, fish are just starting to pull off the beds now. I mean, 
it's going to get better here real soon once they move deep and get set up on their deep stuff but i'd say this was one hell of a trip we almost caught 100 fish in two days and you know having a 23 and almost a 26 pound bag in two days that's pretty damn awesome i mean it doesn't get much better than that so signing off until the next time we actually get to do some more fishing stuff for this youtube channel please be on the lookout uh we got a lot more content coming for you this summer whether it's pigeon hunts uh, fishing you know how to's everything that you can imagine to get prepped for the you know upcoming season and you know so sooner or later september is going to roll around and we'll be ready to start shooting some geese again so can't wait for that i love oh, that. i can't wait for that they're all, they're they're mocking us over there on the corner yeah. <laughs> all right. and that's it We'll see you guys later.